Smokey and I are walking through the woods today looking for sign of beaver. Shh, beavers are really hard to find. Did you know one single beaver can chop down one single medium sized tree in one night alone? Hmm. Wow, Park Ranger Hannah. That's one busy beaver. Yes, Smokey, you're right. Beavers chop down trees, not only for food, but also for building their shelters. Like all rodents, their teeth never stop growing. Therefore, chewing wood helps them keep their teeth sharp and prevents them from becoming too long. Um, I can't believe I'm telling you this, but a beaver with two foot long teeth is actually a reoccurring nightmare of mine. I actually dream about it the entire time I'm hibernating. <laughs> Blimey, mate, let's keep it light. For the kids. Oh, yeah. Well, you are really going to hate this next part. Hmm? Why is that? Amazingly, a beaver's teeth naturally sharpen. How they do it is the front side of their teeth it's really ugly orange, but it's very hard. The back side of their teeth is white, much softer material. So as they are eating the wood, the orange part stays, it's way more sturdy, but the back part kind of gets chipped away, therefore creating a very large rodent with a mouth full of knives. <coughs> it's all right, mate. Beavers are nocturnal, and you aren't, so you probably won't even see each other. You promise? Mostly. Anyway, back to our detective work. Crikey, look at that. It's a sign of beaver. Beavers will sometimes girdle the bark of a conifer tree in the winter time. The reason, slightly unknown, but we believe it's because they need some type of mineral they're missing in the winter time. Conifer trees like this one, not their favorite tree to eat. However, the trees that they do like to eat are not really growing until springtime. Well, thanks Park Ranger Hannah Irwin. I've learned more than I've ever wanted to know today about beavers. Smokey, you're welcome. <laughs>